Hi, happy Friday, Kansas City. I want to show you how to be the cool house in your neighborhood by adding all-inclusive design. If we haven't met yet, my name is Maria Lindbergh and I am the owner of Stay at Home Solutions and I'm an occupational therapist. Uh, I would love for you to click the wow face or the like button below if you are excited about the KU Villanova game on Saturday. It's going to be very exciting. Um, today I'm here at Tiffany Hills Park. It's in the Northland. It's really close to I-29, just north of 152. And um, if you haven't heard of all-inclusive parks, what that means is that the park is built for everybody of all ages and abilities to participate. So we all know how good it is to be outside. Um, I, I wanted to show you this park because it has elements that you can think about doing for your house, for your backyard, so your kids or if you're a cool aunt like me with ne nieces and nephews, you can make your house more hospitable so that children of any ability can come and play. We know that play is so good for children. We know that um, when they participate with each other, they can grow friendships and uh, learn how to better communicate, be better people. And we want children to be exposed to the outdoors no matter what their ability status is. So I want you to tell me down below in the comments, have you ever been to Tiffany Hills Park before? If not, you should really give it a try, especially you know with the weather being nicer, with it being spring and all, or hopefully it'll become a little bit nicer. It's kind of cloudy this week. I think it'd be good. Please tag somebody below who you think would either want to know more about Tiffany Hills Park or if they want to just make their house the cool house in the neighborhood. Um, so some things, if, um, oh, please comment down below. Tell me, have you heard of all inclusive before? Uh, a lot of parks are not all inclusive. Uh, it, it just, let me, let me just go ahead and show you some things. So the first thing that's good about this park is that there is a fence with only two entrances. So if you have young children, you know how tricky and difficult it can be to, oh, sorry about that, blocking the camera, how, how tricky it can be to make sure that your young kids aren't running out in traffic or running out to strangers. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera so that I can show you the entrance here. And just by the way, if you are a, uh, a Parkville pirate, then you're going to love the theme of this park. So uh, I'm gonna turn it around. There's an entrance there, for example, and there's actually another entrance. But what you'll see is that um, the land is flat, so it's really easy. If you're somebody who's using a walker, so you can bring the grandkids to the park. Um, it's really easy for you to get around. If you're a wheelchair user, it's really easy to get around. Uh, they have not only cement, but what I'm standing on is actually rubber. So it's really interesting there. Here we go. Um, something else that they have, they have ramps on all of the equipment. So behind me um, on this pirate themed there you go, you can really see the pirate ship there. Um, there's ramps to get onto the playground equipment and uh, that just makes it really easy for children of all abilities to be able to get up there and experience what it's like. The slides here, so if you have or know somebody, a child who has like a cochlear implant because, they, uh, because of their hard of hearing, the slides are metal. That way there won't be static electricity buildup in the cochlear imp implant, which makes it hard for that child to hear until they see an audiologist. So that's really convenient for them here too. Also something really neat, a cool feature in this park is um, this right here. So you can see there are colors on the ground and they come from this colored glass up here. So incorporating not only um, just like fun playground equipment, but incorporating colors, incorporating sounds. Um, over here at this park, they have a little um, sound station here. And so that children are welcome to come over and play <laughs> and get to learn, you know, different, fun, different sounds there. So um, this park is 
really nice that way. They also have um, shade if the weather gets too hot. You don't obviously want to be overheated, so you can come down in the shade. And then there's also a couple of porta potties. I know in the next phase of this park, they are going to make actual um, restrooms, facility restrooms. Um, the only thing uh, that's difficult if you are a wheelchair user, they put the porta potty uh, a couple feet away from the sidewalk. So you have to go on grass a little bit to actually access the wheelchair accessible porta potty. So I don't know if that was just kind of a lack of insight. You know, if you're a wheelchair user and you're um, coming here on kind of a, uh, after it's been raining and the ground's kind of slushy and hard, that could be a little bit difficult for you to get inside the porta potty. Don't want to get stuck in mud. <laughs> if anyone who's helped someone who's a wheelchair user knows how treacherous sometimes grass and mud can be. So yeah, that can be a little bit difficult. Um, I, I really do like this park. So how are you going to make this a part of your house? How are you going to make um, these things a part of your neighborhood? So, um, like I mentioned, if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm also on Pinterest, Stay at Home Solutions. On my Pinterest, I have a board called Public Spaces, and I've already put some pins on how to make um, places a little bit more accessible outside and to make it fun and to have like kids over, but also to have adults who um, may not walk like you or me. They may use devices to get around. Um, I also know that on Pinterest, I haven't done this yet, but you can also make sound gardens quite easily like the ones here. You could also take colored glass. You could probably do colored plastic and incorporate that in your backyard. Just, you know, some new ideas, some, some DIY stuff you could do to make it. Um, I know that it's not always super easy in your backyard to put in <laughs> A bunch of cement or um, lay down plastic or rubber um, but some things you can do um, I was looking at there's like wood chips that you can um, they're like sealed together somehow and they're more expensive than just regular wood chips but that would be an example of how you could make your backyard a little bit more accessible if there's somebody who is a wheelchair user that you know or if you're if your child has a friend who's a wheelchair user or yeah just some of those kinds of things so yeah check out my Pinterest and uh, because I want you to be the cool house and have a lot of fun with that in the neighborhood uh, please comment down below do you already put some of these all-inclusive things in your backyard please let me know I'd also love to see pictures too if you wouldn't mind sending them to me um, and I hope this gave you some ideas on what you could do not only you know come out here come visit Tiffany Hills Park but also think about making your house the cool house where everyone can go to um, I wanted to announce the winner this week um, from last week the answer to my question uh, was Ida Keeling she was the first 100 year old woman to win a 100 meter dash so 100 years old can you imagine how how she did that um, so I want to say congratulations Patricia you have won uh, from stay at home solutions a free evaluation and uh, there are going to be more contests to come so please tell me what what other prizes that you would like to see or tell me um, what what you're excited about as far as contests go and then I want you to meet me here next week Friday at noon on Facebook live don't have a boring lunch ever um, if Oh, I also want you to let me know what other topics do you want to learn about um, as far as making your house the cool house. I thought that was pretty, pretty fun topic, but tell me what else are you interested in as far as your ability to stay at home and be independent. And uh, just a little announcement, if you are a YMCA member, I will be at the Parkville YMCA April 10th at 10 o'clock. And I'm going to be talking about aging in place and your kitchen, how to make that easier for you to stay at home and be independent with your cooking. I like to cook, so that, that's an important topic for me. But I do other stuff in the kitchen that I'm sure you do too. So let me show you how to make it safer and so you can age in place in your house. Uh, let me go ahead and say uh, before I go, you can find me at 
stayathomesolutionskc.com. I am on uh, Facebook at Stay at Home Solutions KC, Pinterest, Stay at Home Solutions, YouTube. I always post these videos on YouTube so it's easier for you to share with your friends. Um, so I'm on YouTube at Stay at Home Solutions. Please like and follow me if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Let's hope KU wins on Saturday, tomorrow. And uh, please enjoy the rest of this beautiful day.